Hey guys, it's the Solo Coffee, and today inside of this Monster Legends analysis video, we're going to be going over Goblizzard, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get this monster out of its new event, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Goblizzard is a support, and her traits are Control Immunity, which is really great, and then Resurrection Block, which honestly is not great, and then Torture Immunity, which is another really great one, actually. And then her relics are Staff and Trap, which are both actually pretty great. And then if we go on down to her pros and cons, she has the third highest speed stat in the Alpine Era, which is is really good. Show sure, stars decent life, amazing trait, access to NER control removal, healing skills, and damage protection for all allies, and then access to curse and stamina leak to remove stamina from enemies. And then she also has acceptable cooldowns and stamina costs, and nature and magic neutralize each other's weaknesses, making her only weak to fire, which is really good. And she also, of course, has great relics. And then her cons are nature and a fire meta, only one NER skill, which isn't a huge deal, at least she has one. And then can't do much against AoE tortures. Torture immunity is just a status caster meaning there's no way to reapply it after it ends and then reverse healing can make three-fourths of her skills backfire which is kind of a problem but luckily most monsters don't have reverse healing now let's go down to her move set so she has a team control removal with heal 30 percent and damage protection which is a really good move just has an ally ner with a 50 percent heal which is another pretty great one just has a curse and stamina leak move which is pretty good and she has an aoe a curse or you can pick an aoe a team heal which is pretty good but i would probably stick with the aoe curse so she definitely has some really good moves right here i like them all they're all pretty great she can do quite a bit and what she does is really important the ner is great as well as the curse and stamina leak are both really good as well and damage protection can help a ton especially since it is aoe so yeah pretty great moves i definitely do recommend you guys get this monster she is pretty easy to get out of her event right now as well so yeah definitely go ahead and get her and yeah let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be getting her and whether or not you guys think she is worth getting and yeah that is going to be it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye